today we are doing a five minute on camera flash. Today we're doing a five minute challenge where I have one light, which is the Godox V1, the transmitter, the X2T and transmitter as well as an Today we're doing a five minute challenge with one light on a flash stick. If you're interested, check out my off-camera flash for wedding photographers course that is on Patreon. Every single Monday of the month of November, you're gonna see a new, every single month of, every single Monday of the month of November, you're gonna see a brand new video that's going up that details more in depth about my process behind the scenes. Today we're gonna be working very quickly and going from scene to scene on the uh, Patreon course. It's gonna be a lot slower and you're actually gonna be able to kind of see my flash settings and uh, my camera settings uh, throughout the shoot. So basically, I guess to preface this, my idea for most off-camera flash is one, to hide it, to not make it look like it's an off-camera flash shot, and two, expose for the scene because you want to involve the scene. You don't want to just have anybody isolated. Uh, so I expose for the scene, I get my ISO, shutter speed, um, the aperture that I choose, everything good to go and then I bring in off-camera flash to kind of accentuate things and make it a little bit better in reality so let's uh let's go take some photos all right for the first location we're here at the coffee bar I'm gonna be bouncing my flash off of here instead of bringing modifiers instead of doing anything traditionally as I would in a studio uh, I'm just kind of using the elements that I have given to me in the scene here and I'm kind of working with that that already looks really good so I'm going to go down to one slash 32 power bouncing off of this door here, and I'm at 1 60th of a second, f1.6, and 320 ISO. And that looks really good, I'm very happy with that. I've basically created a new main light um, off of here, and I think we move on, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Next, uh, next location. Um, this is kind of an easier one, I guess, because I'm basically just making my flash into a giant curtain, um, which is probably going to give pretty great light. And I'm pretty much just trying to do my best to make the small little flash head as large as possible. And the huge benefit of off-camera flash is that I have my flash set up there, but I can kind of be free to move wherever I want. Moving on. <laughs> All right, so I am going to have Clarissa right there. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be bouncing this off of kind of up here to illuminate her. And then I'm gonna be actually through the window out that way. And I'm gonna zoom it in a little bit just so that I'm not getting all spill out there. I wanna be kind of aiming my flash directly kind of at this area here to come back at her. And we'll see if it works. It works 100% of the time, 50% of the time. Uh, move that way just a little bit. That's good there. So I'm gonna modify this a little bit. And basically what I'm trying to do and what I think good practice in general is, is to kind of short side light, which means that if all of the light is coming from here and kind of hitting Clarissa that way, that I should be at least off center this way so that I have a little bit more shadow, a little bit more interest. And if you wanna kinda of look up almost to where the light's coming from, and then eyes back towards me. Perfect, that looks great. Next location. I'm going to, so I'm gonna be bouncing my flash off of this here, which is gonna make almost an incandescent light that's gonna match what's going on here. Uh, I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna have you standing here and I'm gonna be through that door so I can get kind of all of those lights going backwards. And that small light is gonna make a pretty good main light. Next space. So, all right, for the next one here, um, as I touched on back there that when you have off-camera light, you can kind of do whatever you want as far as foregrounds go, and you still have your subject in good light. So, of course, I'm gonna have you kind of like right here. And this is a really kind of nightmare of a lighting situation. Even though it is all kind of the same color of light, it's like direct from here and here, and it's a lot of weird shadows. So I'm gonna try to overpower a bunch of those uh, right here. And I'm gonna close the doors, I think, to remove the cinder block wall and remove the fire alarms out there. So I use this strategy a lot for storytelling when it comes to um, wedding days. So if I'm taking a photo of, of a wedding dress, usually what I'm doing is not just having a basic shot of the dress just hanging there, that I wanna kinda of hide it through a door or something that kind of leads you into the story rather than just uh, being like, here's a photo of a dress. Cool. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's uh, find one more spot and then our five minute challenge is done. All right, last shot here, we're back in the courtyard. We have this chair kind of in the center and I'm gonna try to overpower everything. So I'm gonna be actually doing a one-to-one -one burst of light bounced off of here. Um, so this is gonna be full power coming back into the scene to try to isolate because the light coming in from above um, is kind of creating some dark circles. And I would like to overpower that or at least, at the very least, kind of fill in 
some shadows. So I'm going to have you right here. I think that's centered. All right, so I have my main light here. Another option would be to put the light right there and see how that kind of works, which we might have to do. But something like this is really kind of making a lot more focus just directly on Clarissa and the chair rather than the entire scene itself. Perfect. And I'm getting a little bit of bleed from the corner of this into my actual lens. So it's creating kind of a nice little flare that you can naturally create. For our last location here, I'm going to be bouncing the light off of kind of this little section of cream slash white. And I'm going to have Clarissa kind of right here. So we're using the sun kind of as a little bit of a backlight there. We're doing one slash eighth power. And the way that light's coming down is a little bit kind of flat. So I'm going to move you this way just a little bit. That's great right there. All right, and if you can look kind of this way just a little bit. All right, that looks really good. That is the last location of this five minute challenge. Thank you for joining us here. Um, if you are interested in the full course, there is a full off camera flash for wedding photographers course over on Patreon. Uh, at the end of this month, it's gonna be $129 if you buy it, but if you sign up for Patreon right now, it's $30 and you get the course as it is released. So head over there and get that right now. And uh, I'll see you, I guess I'll see you over there. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching YouTube.